So today I want to do a couple things. I want to work on this wall today. I'm just, I'm getting to the point I'm about over with my custom window coverings for privacy. So I'm going to go to the Home Depot and see if I can't find some uh, privacy window film that I can put on these windows and just get rid of this because it's just, it's been ghetto long enough, okay? And uh, I also want to work on the tornado bunker hole and try to waterproof it a little bit more because some water leaks in and it makes a mess as soon as you go in now the weatherman says it's not supposed to start raining till this afternoon and it's about quarter to ten so uh home depot is about 30 minutes away so i think i could probably get it taken care of and we have a new kitty down here who are you kitty i don't know you you're not daddy cat so I really don't know where you came. Are you pooping on my perimeter? Oh, hell no. No, 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 no. We, we don't do this. So here we go. And I ain't trying to hit you, kitty. I just want to scare you. There you go. He got the point. I wasn't trying to hit him. Trust me, if I was wanting to hit him, I'd have hit him. Here's one of my kitties. This is a big boy. Meow. So, uh, yeah, I want to try to get this done. I got on my pants, my my going to Home Depot pants that are kind of extra long, and when I wear them, they make me look extra short, which is awesome. Got to take a couple drinks of some uh, cold black coffee. Mm. Oh, now you want to stay in? Okay. You got to stay in. Baby girl, I don't know where she is, but I guess she'd be okay. So yeah, I don't know if you all have actually met the 370. This right here is face plant from where the deer caught me. I'm lucky it didn't mess nothing up on the bottom, but it did kind of bring up the bumper cover and it did crack my halogen or my LED, well not even the LED, it's a HID headlight. Uh, still works, but to fix that's like 1500 bucks so i'm like no i'm good and it kind of messed this up over here and it popped out my inner fender sometimes it'll go back and i can fix it and this fender's kind of bulged out a little bit so you can kind of see and yeah she'd be dirty i mean i drive the tires off this car as you can see i know i'm, I'm a bad z owner I'm, I'm i'm really bad what i'm thinking about doing since my hood's messed up uh do some rally lights on this thing that way maybe i won't hit no more deers that i don't see but yeah she'd be dirty she'd be funktastic look at that that's off so i've got back from the home depot and i picked these things here up ready shade no tools pleated paper shades right and of course, me being me, I didn't measure my windows to see how wide I need it. And this is the widest that they had. So I was like, well, maybe I can make something work. But I don't think I'm going to be able to. There's six of these in here. So maybe I could take, I don't know, I'm going to have to cut one set to you know make it wide enough and all you got to do is just stick these to the wall or whatever you know like this one's that long i can start it over here but i'm like six inches too short over here i mean that'll look dumb and i know it's not a permanent thing but i don't know i just don't know i hate to waste them you know just for something extremely temporary so in the meantime, I was like, why don't I take my bubble wrap and stick it in between the window panes? Because like I said, the inside unscrews and the outside unscrews to make like this double pane type thing. So I was like, well, okay, cool. So that's what I did. I think it looks better and I can actually roll it down a little bit and get some natural light and be able to peek outside. So I, I mean, that kind of works. This isn't like a, like a full-time solution, but you know, it is what it is, you know, you got to do what you got to do. I'll fix that when I got two hands. So I've been screwing around for a couple hours, just kind of looking at some stuff. And I went ahead and trimmed all the bubble wrap to fit fairly nice inside the window. So 
that already looks a whole lot better. A lot more presentable. A lot less uh, redneck-tastic, I guess you could say. So, also when I was at the Home Depot, I picked up two samples of paint. And this one right here is whipped cream, which is this color here. And I got the cracked pepper, which is this right here. It's almost black. I just, I like the the dark 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 super dark grays right just like the the stain on the bottom of this trim board that i was trying out this wall right here is going to be basically a testing ground of what i do as far as everything else right so here's my question to you guys should i paint this wall this right here is just a generic what they call farmhouse white i got it at, at uh walmart right real cheap but this right here is Bear Dynasty. This is a, this is just a sample, but this is a matte finish, good paint. So should I do the wall in the whipped cream white and paint the window the pepper gray, like the baseboard is, kinda. That's actually called a, a barrel, I think a barrel gray or something like that, anyway. Or paint the wall a dark pepper gray do the window in the whipped cream or should I take and sand with a wire wheel get all this paint off of the windows and polish them out to where they kind of match this metal that's you know that's kind of what I'm, I'm thinking now the the window is not going to be perfect when I get all the paint off I'll use a really fine wire wheel it's going to have kind of like a turned finish kind of like this i don't know if you can tell but here maybe this one here reason why i was grinding on here because i was getting all the glue from tape off of the metal i couldn't get it off any other way so i had to use wire brush or wire wheel and that's what i was doing now i am going to go through and get rid of all these regular hex head screws and replace them with these machine screws I just think they look a lot nicer even if I paint them they'll be a lot smoother and they won't stick out like a sore thumb um, but that's where I'm at and my other question you guys is should I remove this paneling that's on the wall because behind the paneling is just I don't know what this is I don't know if this is wood or if this is drywall but you can see up here this is paneling this is actually a fire retardant paneling that's why I've kept it up there for so long uh, and this is just just wood I don't know what kind it is but I know what I am going to do. I'm going to open this paint and I'm going to stir it up and I'm going to do some test areas over here and see how it looks. Also picked up a, a neat little paintbrush. I've not seen one of these before. It's got the little hook on it where you can kind of hook it on the side of your paint can. I thought that was kind of neat. And this is flexible. So I'm just going to play with this and see what these paint colors look like. Okay. So here's the pepper gray. It's still wet over here, but so this is what it's going to look like when it's dry. I don't know if you guys can see very well, but and here's the whipped cream white. This is just on the wall. Let's see if you can get an idea. I keep stepping on my cord. What it kind of looks like, and then over here is what the gray would look like on the wall with the white window trim, and vice versa. And honestly, I really don't know if I like either one of those. I think I would rather just do the whole thing in pepper gray and then polish this edge out of the window or polish this out. I think that would be a good contrast with, you know, the metal and the dark gray. Kind of like down here. I kind of like that. Or should I really step outside of my comfort zone and outside of the box and do pretty little trees like Bob Ross. <laughs> this is an autistic tree. It's got snow on it. I've never Bob Ross before. So what you think about my Bob Ross? And I'm kind of impressed. I'm like, that's kind of fun to make pretty little trees. And I guess I could do like blue skies <laughs> and have like little hills and pretty little trees. Do a little Marty mural. <laughs> I got a feeling I'm just opening up a can of worms. <laughs> so, yeah. I don't even know if I like the white, y'all. I really don't. That would be good for something else, but I don't think it'd be good for this. I'm kind of feeling the pepper gray. I really am. I don't know. Or 
cracked pepper or whatever you want to call it. Maybe a different color white than the whipped cream. The whipped cream looks completely different in the book. Now, if you look in the book, on this page, this is called a tranquil gray. And then this is a weathered white. And then over here, this is called whipped cream. But I don't... It's a little bit it's a little bit darker. If I did all of the wall in the gray, the dark gray, that maybe have a piece of trim that comes down here below the window and go all the way across, it's maybe like a dark brown, maybe. I don't know. But then if I do Bob Ross, then that throws everything out the window. Then we just don't know what the hell's going to happen. <laughs> or I could get some special paint and paint the kitties colors. They make a pink and they make a yellow. <laughs> they make all kinds of kitty cat spray paint. It don't hurt them. It washes off. I could do that too. <laughs> and I could have little cat footprints just all over the place. And then that would just be not awesome. So anyways, folks, let me know what you think. In a couple of days, uh, I'll make my final decisions and figure out what I want. Man, but, man, this dark is just sharp AF. So, yeah, like and subscribe. Check out my links below in the description. Check out my merch store. So many of y'all were kind of asking for merch, so I put some out there. And I know it's a pretty generic design, but if you got any design that is that you would like, just shoot them to me, and I can make them. I can do a lot of cool stuff. So, anyways... I guess I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.